Hey y'all. Um, so today is Tuesday. Um, what's that? 191 yesterday. I'm at 189 today. So the water's starting to drop off. Um, probably see a drop. Well, pretty sure I'll see a drop again in the morning. Um, because like at the gym, I was sweating like crazy. And, um, yeah, peeing like crazy, too. <laughs> Bless you, little Jersey. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, keto stick, still no color, which is typical. Um, should probably start seeing a little bit of color tomorrow. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, so got up this morning and it was raining. Uh, well, I took my dog out. I always take my dog out first and before I start my walk and what have you. And I was like, uh, it's not really raining per se. It was like drizzling, sprinkling, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to let her do her thing. I'm going to take her back in. And I'm, this thing isn't really too bad. You know, it's not, I'm not going to get soaking wet. <laughs> so I'm going to walk. And then if it starts raining harder, obviously I'll have to stop and go finish at the gym. Um, so, she did her thing. I swear to God, there's something about me making a video that she just has to go and eat her crunchy food <laughs> while I'm making a video. <laughs> Every time. Anyways, um... So, brought her back in after she did her thing, went back out to start my walk. Then it was, it wasn't full force raining, but it was enough that if I'd have walked, I would have been wet. So, as much as I hate it, I said, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to do it at the gym. I've already said in a previous video how much I hate walking on a treadmill. I hate it. So just the fact that I had the determination and motivation and discipline to say, eh, I'm going to have to go walk it on the, at the gym. I mean, five miles, it take, to do my five miles, it takes me an hour and 40 minutes. And doing it when I'm walking outside, I don't know, it just, it, I don't know why it doesn't bother me to do it outside, even though some people are like, you just fucking walk around and around and around, <laughs> and they think that's crazy and, I don't know, boring or, I don't know, it, it doesn't bother me, you know. I like, I like it, I prefer it to be walking outside. So... When I have to walk on the treadmill, I don't like it. It just seems to drag. It seems to go, you know, for me walking five miles, an hour and 40 minutes on a treadmill. It just drags. It just, I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. Um, to me, that's boring. There's nothing to look at, I mean, other than the other gym equipment. The gym has TVs, but they got it all on bullshit news and sports. And <laughs> so I hate it. I hate walking on a treadmill. Um, but I forced myself to go to the gym. 
I mean, an hour, not an hour, but I do five miles. One mile into the walk, I'm like, this, is, this fucking sucks. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate walking on a treadmill. Um, so, yeah, so I started freaking out, you know, like one mile in, and I'm like, not feeling it. Felt like I was going to cave in. But I just, you know, like I said, I'm everything I do like that, that I'm like fucking miserable and I force myself to do it anyway, that's just building determination. It's building my, like I was saying yesterday, that I want to build my mental strength and my discipline. So every time... I feel that way and I fight it and I get the shit done anyway that's building that that determination and that um, mental strength and um, so that th those are the things that I have to do and I was telling myself that no you know I can hear Cole in my head shut the fuck up <laughs> quit being a fucking cry baby and walk. Get your shit done. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and it, and I can and I play that in my head, you know. Shut the fuck up. Just get it done. You're being a big baby. Get it done. Um. So I did. And you know, once I hit like three miles, mind you, I was still hating life. But at three miles, I was like, okay, just, I got this, you know, thank God for the music in my ears, you know, the music that I play, because I think without that, I would have, I don't know, I, I might have quit, but the music I play keeps me motivated, and, you know, it's good music, and yeah, so I got it done. Um, so yeah, and then of course when I was done, then I just hopped off treadmill, got the rest of my workout done, um, but because I did my walk at the gym, I ended up being at the gym for three hours, which is about right, um, so, but I got all that done. And then I was like, okay, as soon as I get home, I'm going to get comfortable and I'm going to make my video. Get that done. So I could just relax and watch some movies. But then when I got home, I got my tablet, got ready to make the video, and then I saw I had a notification about Cole's uh, Monday Night Live that he did last night. And I... In yesterday's video, I reminded you guys, oh, don't forget to watch Cole's Live. And I didn't forget about it. I just was like so wiped out last night. I was just like, I can't. I'll watch it tomorrow. I can't watch it live. I'm too tired. Um, yeah. Because like I say, it comes on at 10 here. Um, and I just was like, no. It was like a quarter to 10. I was like, I can't. I'm ready to pass out. I'm ready to go to sleep, so so I didn't watch it. So I saw the notification. I was like, oh shit, I should watch that before I make my video in case there's anything I want to talk about or whatever. Um, so I did. I sat down, you know, and cast it to my TV so I could watch it on the big screen. <laughs> and I watched it. It was like an hour and 12 minutes. Um, I don't know if you, if you, I'm going to link it below in case you want to watch it. Um, oh man, I think it was titled Dopamine Fasting 
and something about uh, stopping giving in to the cock buffet. <laughs> Oh my lord. Yeah. So basically the the video was supposed to be about, you know, social media and how we're on social media all day long and um but it's not good for us, you know. So that but in a nutshell that's what he, it was about and he was just trying to say get off the fucking internet, you know. Just like we're fasting all day from food and then we have that little window that we can eat in we give ourselves a little window to do our eating he said do the same thing with the internet you know just give yourself a little window every day you don't need to be on it all fucking day and just give yourself that little window and then you know whatever you got to do check whatever it is you need to check just do it in that little window you know just a little window of time to check out the internet um which i agree with him 100 percent i'm I don't care about the internet. I mean, I just made a post on my Facebook the other day that I'm, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I mean, it, and like he says, it, there's no value to it. I mean, I do go to Facebook and like he says, just to check, I go to Facebook because in today's technology world, unfortunately, that's how people communicate, even my children. Um, when it comes to communication, I very rarely get phone calls um, from my children. My oldest girl, she'll call me. Um, yeah, she'll call me. But mostly it's just texting, Facebook Messenger, you know, so I, if I go to Facebook, I'm looking, I can see posts that my children make, pictures of my grandchildren, <laughs> you know, so that's what I go to look at. And then in the process of going to look at that, you know, then I see the other bullshit that I'm just like, fuck shut up <laughs> and just like Cole says in his live last night it's it's annoying it's stressful it's I mean I wish there was a way that I could make my Facebook page and the only thing I see is my children's stuff their posts because I mean, at the end of the day, my children hardly post anything on Facebook. You know, my my youngest does. She'll post if they go somewhere or, you know, she'll post pictures of my grandson or... But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. And I don't do, you know, I, I check Facebook. And when I get up, you know, after I'm done with my thing before I go to watch my movies. That's what I really care about, watching movies. But I'll check it, you know, see if there's anything interesting there, and I'm done. I don't do Twitter and Instagram and all those, I don't, I don't do all that stuff. Um, yeah, so I check my Facebook once, and then after that, I head to my recliner. <laughs> and, you know, even that, even like just chilling in my recliner. I mean, I, I'm retired. I live the life of leisure. <laughs> um, and I do. Once I've taken, that's why like I get up, I do take care of my dog, I do my walk, I go to the gym, I come home. If I need to do anything around here, I take care of it. If I have errands to run, I take care of it. I try to get all my shit done the beginning of, you know, before noontime because I like to enjoy relaxing the rest of the day and watching movies. It's what I like. Um, 
But even that, that, you know, watching movies and just chilling and watching movies for, you know, a few hours. So I end up watching like three movies. That's six hours. So even that I want to kind of limit a little bit and get more into, you know, like maybe watch a movie, but then also spend a little bit of my day like reading. I love to read. I've always loved to read, but I don't do it as much. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so I need to do that. I I want to, you know, read more, incorporate it, you know, and as a daily thing that I do read um hobbies, like I love putting puzzles together, but like I just put one together a few months ago and it's I have a puzzle carrier. Like you can put the puzzle together on this thing and then if you need to put it away, get it out of your way, it just uh, folds up and it doesn't mess up your puzzle. So, because I'm, I didn't, I finished the puzzle and then I'm, instead of being like, oh, I finished the puzzle, that was so much fun and breaking it up and putting it back in the box, I'm like, that puzzle was a pain in the ass. I want to frame it. I don't want to break it up. I spent too, too much time. So it's still sitting in the carrier. So I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, I, I want to do another puzzle. But I can't because I got the other puzzle in there taking up space in the carrier because I haven't framed it yet. And why? Because I can't afford to frame. I went and looked for frames and oh, first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I like to do puzzles, you know, sometimes my neighbors will come over and we play cards, like, not even like card cards, like rummy and all that, no. Uh, they taught me how to play this game called Skippo. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Fun. Got addicted to it, so we've been playing that for quite a while. But it's not every night. It was every night for a while, but then I was like, no, I can't do it every night. So a couple of nights a week we do that. And we've been playing that one for a while, so we just bought uh, another card game called Phase 10 um, that we're going to start trying that one because we're getting a little bit bored with Skippo. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to... Uh, I like creating, like, there's this thing I saw, I think it was on Facebook, one of my friends is into it, like diamond, diamond painting, it's like these little beads or something, these little jewels that you, but I've been wanting to try that, um, yeah, so instead of like, because literally, electronic wise I check Facebook once and then I get off there watch movies and sometimes on my tablet you know I'm playing games on my tablet so I don't know I, I agree with Cole about the electronics um you know and he was off on a tangent about <laughs> women and feminists and women who think they're I don't know you know feminists they think they're can you know do anything a man can do and all that which we can do anything a man can do I mean can we do it as well as a man probably not <laughs> I'm not going to get in a boxing ring <laughs> with a man. There's no way. You know, I'm, I'm not. If it comes to anything like physical, physical strength, endurance, men are typically stronger than women. So, um, but again, I'm old school. I'm 60. I was born in 1959. So I'm old school. I was you know, raise that way to, you know, 
that old fashioned the man goes to work, the woman stays home and cooks and takes care of the kids, and, you know. So, what he was saying wasn't bothering me at all, you know, because he, he was saying the truth. Men are stronger than women, and, you know, it's, as usual, it's his delivery. It's not the message. It's the delivery, and... I mean, as I'm watching it, it's not bothering me because I'm old school. So I believe in what he was saying. His delivery, per usual, was rough. And I was laughing because <laughs> since I was casting it to my TV, I was watching the video. But when you cast it to the TV, you don't see the comments. And I didn't go read the comments, but in my head I'm thinking I know them women are in the comments just like losing their fucking mind just how he was saying stuff and so that made it funny for me but um I I pretty much agree with per usual I he's very smart I agree with pretty much not 100% but pretty much everything he says it's just, you know, people get triggered because of his delivery. It's, it's his, his, del and his delivery is his thing. So, it was interesting. I, you know, it didn't really bother me or what have you. Um, I was hoping for more, uh, I don't mind when he goes off on tangents like that, you know, that aren't really too snake diet or diet or fasting related I don't mind I you know like I say I, he's a smart dude I I learn some stuff you know sometimes my eyes are open to things and because I have a very open mind um, but I of course because I'm fasting I prefer when he's does most of the video about fasting and you know m m tries to motivate us in his videos but I guess it's our job to motivate ourselves so that's what I'm trying to do and um, so now that it's almost 23 minutes of just blibber blabber <laughs> um, yeah so I'm gonna get off of here and um, trying to think real quick if there was anything else I wanted to talk about but I don't think so um, everything's normal we'll see if I do well in the morning I think I'm losing shedding off some of this water weight which is good um, and you know anytime I like I was off track for nine days and now I'm back on track after you've been off track and you get back on track the first couple of days you're like two pounds two more pounds and like I think I've said before for me I know that's gonna happen because I know the first couple of days you're just gonna your body's just gonna let go of the water weight um, so I'm not like ooh, two pounds of fat yeah another two pounds of fat no it don't work that way the water will just come right off. The fat's harder to get off. Um, so the first couple of days when I'm losing two pounds every day, I don't pay it too much mind because I know it's just the water coming off of me. Um, so yeah. But we'll see how we do in tomorrow. All right, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Um, I'm feeling good again I'm getting there I'll say in another two days I'll be strong like bull <laughs> it just feels good to be back in my routine um, yeah so keep fasting stay strong hang tough and keep snaking I'm gonna link his, that thing below in case y'all want to go watch it if you trigger easily don't go watch it <laughs> sorry
He's so funny. I love him. Okay, but I'll link it. All right. Have a good day, you guys. See you. Bye.